Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a Chevy Cruze, guys, and you have engine light on and code P0107, stay with us, guys. We'll explain what needs to be done to fix that. We will explain how we are going to uh, test the system, diagnose the system, and all that stuff. Quick introduction, guys. We will have, guys, more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze and every car we get at the shop. You probably already know that. Why? Because our mission is to save you as much money as we can. So please take advantage of the, of the videos, guys. Subscribe to our channel. Like the video. If you have a specific problem that we do not have video about, leave a comment below and we will try to uh, to make a video for your problem guys so this is the uh, this is the car that we have it's a 2015 chevy cruise it doesn't matter if you have a 1.8 1.4 1.6 engine guys if you get that code uh, procedure probably will be about the same for all of them now the parts may be a little bit different but if you want to see where we buy all our parts from we have the link in the description of the video below check it out that's uh, where you can find where we get our scanner from too as well now you will notice that the car will be running fine uh, very rarely you will notice any symptoms okay you may notice a little bit of increased fuel consumption this is because uh, due to the fact that your map sensor is not working guys and uh, that affects uh, the way the engine runs but most of you will not even notice that so we're going to connect our computer to the obd port right there to the connector i'm going to go inside now okay and how oh, turn the ignition on your engine light will be on of course uh, so ignition is on guys okay let me even uh, turn the the light off so you can see it yourself you can see how the engine light is on next guys okay we have the scanner here we have the link in the description of the video below this is definitely a scanner that i would recommend you can do so much with that scanner guys okay on not just Chevy Cruze on most vehicles too you can read codes from the engine computers airbag computer traction control computer and abs computer and you have so many other functions one of them is very important steering angle assist and tpms reset so quite a few things guys that are very helpful i'll go under obd we're going to connect now to the engine computer and we'll see okay what we have there what code we have and all that stuff it says codes found one we click ok now we have three different uh, sections of your engine computer that you can access i recommend just to check each one of them separately because you may have codes in each one of them it really depends we're going to click read codes and we'll go under stored codes okay and we have p0107 manifold absolute pressure barometric pressure circuit low and pending codes guys check pending codes as well nothing there the same thing so if i go to live data now live data okay it's going to take just a little bit of time to load but we'll try to see if we can read that map sensor and see if it's showing anything or if it just showed it out it really depends guys sometimes they do go bad sometimes it's just a loose connection you need to check that we'll show you in a second but uh, let me just connect to the uh, live data and see if we can access that map sensor hopefully we can so if we scroll to the next page okay map sensor that's uh that's the pressure sensor right there it's in kpa unit uh and right now it's showing showing zero right so what i'm going to do i'll start the car now car is started you can see and it's running and that map sensor guys it just shows zero with the car running rpms i'll change the rpms check it out now and that map sensor doesn't show anything so we'll go ahead and show you guys what you need to replace now in order to fix that code so this is the 1.8 engine but if you have the 1.4 the procedure is about the same or the 1.6 guys not very different you have the, the diesel engine as well now looking at the engine you need to locate your intake manifold okay the turbo engines will have two map sensors one will be map t that will be the turbo pressure one will be on the intake this is your intake and this right here guys this is your map sensor okay that guy this is your map sensor it actually reads the pressure inside the intake manifold so check your connection reconnect it if you have to guys uh, make sure everything is tight not loose uh, check it again and if that doesn't take care of it there is one board we have the video on the channel how to remove and replace it we actually have the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we bought ours from now 
The purpose of this video guys is just to show you if that will fix the problem. We will go ahead and replace ours and we will continue. So the sensor has been replaced guys. I'm going inside now. Okay. And let me go ahead. I will turn ignition on. Okay, ignition is on. We'll go back because we, we lost communication. We're going to click erase codes. Okay, erase them. Click live data. Let's wait for it to load one more time. Okay, while it's loading, I'm going to start the car. Okay, and let's see. Let's see if the engine light is on now. And so far, no, guys. Nothing so far. So, what we'll do. Okay, I'm just waiting for the live data to load and click complete list. We're going to go to the second page, find the map sensor and let's see. Okay, check it out now how it changes. Those are the RPMs, that's the map. Check it out now. So you can see now that's a responsive map guys. So hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you guys doing that repair. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.